Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna review the Dehancer Film Emulation plugin, which I think it's more than just a plugin. It's like a digital film lab for color grading. These are some recent shots I filmed in Kamakura with Fujifilm XH2S in OpenGate. Okay, so uh, let's pick up a shot with some lighting contrast to see how good is the Hanser in highlights and shadow areas. For this video I'll keep things simple but effective, so I'll gonna use only 2-3 nodes for color. Let's make the first node and call it primaries and the second node the Hanser. It's very important that the first node is before the Hanser plugin. This will allow you to adjust exposure or other settings in the original log file, which has the most information. You can find the Hanser plugin in the effects section. Scroll till the bottom and here it is. Let's drag it on the second node. By default the Hanser adds film grain. I'll disable it for now and we can add the grain at the end after we finish with grading. Also it's very important to have the waveform open so you can check the exposure during grading. Ok, so uh, as you can see the image still looks flat. That's because we didn't choose the source yet. The Hanser has a variety of cameras you can choose from. In our case I will choose Fujifilm X-H2S and the format is F-Log2. And right away you can see how the image was transformed from log to a decent Rec 709 with a film emulation. Now the image looks underexposed a bit. Ok, so there are a few ways how you can adjust the exposure. First way is to use exposure compensation slider in the Hanser. Also pay attention on the waveform so you don't blow up the highlights. Now the image looks much better. Let's reset and use primaries in the first node to get the similar results. Let's bring offset higher. As you can see, it's a bit different effect. When you do that, the shadows are getting bright as well. You can compensate that by bringing down the lift and rising the gain a bit. Let's add some contrast as well. Ok, so this is before and after using primaries. The waveform looks good. Nothing is clipping and there is enough information in the shadows. I'll reset the first node and use exposure from the hands, so you can see how powerful it is actually. Let's change the temperature. I'll make the image a bit warmer. This looks nice. Let's change the film profile. Now it is set up to Kodak Vision 3 250D which I actually use the most of the time, but the Hansa has a lot of great profiles that you can choose from. Another reason why the Hansa is such a great plugin is that you can choose push and pull process of the film emulation. Here we have the same possibilities, which is great. You can see how the contrast and colors are changing slightly. 800T being a negative film, it's more resistant in push and pull process than positive film, like Velvia 100 for example. As you can see the colors are less resistant and dynamic range is much less. Ok, let's find the Kodak 250D and adjust it. Somewhere in the middle looks good to me. Film compression is another great tool that further adjusts the film look. It can bring more details in the highlights or shadows. With exposure you can change the blacks and highlights.
This is with and without. Let's check our progress so far. This is log and with the enhancer. Colors look so nice. In color head section, you can change the color tone of the image. You can also do this in primary section in DaVinci, but it's much more convenient to have all the settings here, so you can quickly adjust them. Next, let's add some grain. Let's zoom in and check lows. Here the Hansa again gives you so much flexibility to adjust it. This is too much grain for my taste, so I usually change the film type to positive. This looks much better. You can play with the sliders and choose the right settings that will work with your project. This is with and without grain. And to get even closer to a film look, the Hansa also has highlation and bloom effect. Highlation adds in the high contrast area, a red glow effect, which occurs in the film emulation after the light was bouncing off the base of the film. You can check the mask option, so you can see where the highlation will show up. As you can see here in the high contrast area, the red glow shows up. You can adjust it here with sliders and make this stronger or softer. And the next is the bloom effect, which makes the image more organic. It gives a nice bloom in the high contrast areas. You can see it in this area. And again, you can adjust it based on your taste and look you try to achieve. Let's check with and without. This looks so much nicer. You can also add some vignetting, but I usually don't use it. The last thing I want to show you is the false color exposure tool. It's the most precise way to check the exposure and it's great to have it here. As you can see here, the red color shows the overexposed parts of the image. You can go back and adjust the white point and bring it down so the highlights doesn't clip. And that's it! You can right click on the image and save a still grab where you can apply it to the next shot. I also want to mention that the Hansa is now available on Apple Store and you can use it on your iPhone or iPad. It has a simple and easy to use interface and has the same functionality like original plugin. And the cool thing is that the app version works in the same way as desktop plugin, so it's not just a filter app. I'll quickly grade this clip here and you'll see how powerful the app is. So you can make your videos to look more like film. Let's check before and after. I think it looks great. 
Now we can export this clip and you can share it wherever you want. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.